Well, today I'm doing a reading vlog. I'm going to do a 24 hour reading challenge and I'm not going to do the 24 hours straight because I just know I will not be able to do that because after an hour I already get distracted from everything and the reading just doesn't go well. <laughs> I'd have to reread lines and paragraphs. Uh, so I, I just know that's not going to happen for me. That's not in the cards for me. Even if I read for an hour, it's just I cannot concentrate after that. I'm going to read as much as I can in the next two to three days. It's probably going to be three. And I just want to see how quickly I can read a book because I feel like I'm very, very slow with reading. So yeah, I just want to see how quickly I can read and also i want to read more i want to read way way more than that than i read now i feel like if i'm reading for 24 hours i can get three to four books um within a few days whereas normally i would read maybe one book max in a week i could read two but that's really pushing it. Usually it's going to be one in a week, maybe even two weeks. I'm just going to try to read as many hours in a day as I can. And hopefully we're going to read at least eight every day. So that it's going to be just, it's going to be done in three days. And I already picked a book to start with, which is The Hero of Ages. So I picked The Hero of Ages. I've read... The Final Empire and the Well of Ascension in the last few weeks. I want to finish this um, series and this is the last one in the in the Mistborn series and it's gonna be the first one in my reading challenge. So let's see how quickly I can read this. I guess that's all I have to say right now. <laughs> let's just start reading. So since I filmed the intro, I've been doing the dishes, I had lunch with my husband, I took my husband to work and I took my dog on a walk and so I filmed that at 11 o'clock and now it's almost a quarter past one, which means eight hours is going to be a stretch. <laughs> I mean, okay, I could theoretically still read eight hours today except i've got somewhere to be tonight so which is gonna take about four hours or plus plus dinner and i also gotta pick my husband up from his work tonight so i'm still going to do my best i'm still going to do my absolute best i'm also not gonna be upset about it if i don't because as I said, it's a quarter past, past one. I've not even started yet, but I'm going to start right now. So not that long. I'm on page 22. So I read one page every two minutes. So at this rate, how many pages does this have? There's 724 pages. So I will be reading for 1448 hours, uh, minutes, not hours. That's a lot. That's like 20 hours <laughs> at this rate. This entire 24 hour reading challenge would be just this book. In my experience, the first few pages are hardest to get through. At least for me, it takes the longest. And I'm just going to try and read faster. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, it's four right now. And um, I gotta leave at 4.30. So I have got half an hour to keep on reading, which I'm gonna do outside again. And um, I have been reading for a little over an hour and I'm on page 38. <laughs> so still not going the best. It's 5.05 five and um, I did not read at four because my husband messaged me that he was free already. So I had to leave at four instead of 4.30. So um, I'm back, we had dinner already and uh, I have about an hour before we have to leave. So I'm going to use that time to read. Today is the next day and um, yesterday my goal was to read for eight hours, which I did not complete, but it was because I had forgotten that I had a prior engagement, which took about three hours. So it's, yeah. <coughs> uh, so yesterday I read for three hours and 40 minutes and I got to page 110, so I'm not reading very quickly. And it is opening my eyes to how slowly I actually read. I, I knew I was slow, but I did not know I was this slow. But today I don't have prior engagements and there's not a lot to do for me today. So I should be able to make a lot of hours today. It's 11.30. And um, I've been reading for another 20 minutes, so that now I have been reading for four hours and I can kind of tell how fast I am. I am on page 124, so basically I'm around page 120, which means I'm reading 30 pages an hour. And I want to get that up to 40 pages an hour. If I can get to page 160 in the next hour, that would be nice. Yeah, but first, I think, yes, I want to put some makeup on and get ready for the day. I'm going to do that now. And then I can come back with fresh eyes to read for another hour. Well, well for lots of hours. <laughs> but, you know, for the next hour of trying to read 40 pages in an hour. <laughs> so... It's almost nine and I've read for a total of two hours today, <laughs> so still not going well. Um, I'm going to wash my face and settle, settle in, in bed, and um, I'm going to try to read for at least two more hours today. Um, I think I've read for not even seven hours and it's day three now but there's also chores i need to be doing today so i'm guessing that today will not be very productive reading wise i've got some disillusionment maybe look i thought reading for 24 hours in three days that's gonna be easy nothing to worry about but I'm realizing, I'm, I'm learning a lot about my reading habits, which is a good thing, I guess. It is a good thing. But I'm realizing that when I read, I read for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I think I've been reading for such a long time, which I, I haven't then. Um, and I'm realizing things about my brain. <laughs> so I'm reading. And I'm thinking about stuff and I'm hearing a song in my head and I think I might be neurodivergent. I have to get used to talking to the camera because it's not something I... Have. It's new to me. 
which is also why I'm not always looking into the camera but rather to myself <laughs> sorry about that but okay so what I was saying I wanted to see how many pages an hour I read and then I wanted to make a goal for myself to read 40 pages I believe but that would have meant that I had to read I had to be at page 160 I checked when the hour was over and I was in on page 157 so I was close <laughs> I didn't exactly make it but today I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna try read 40 pages in an hour and the way it's looking right now for my reading challenge it's gonna be just the one book which I was hoping to read three or four books but it's also my fault because I picked a book that's more than 700 pages long which was it honestly it was stupid <laughs> It's 11.30 and uh, I've, I've been reading in total for 7 hours and 15 minutes now, which means today I've been reading for about half an hour. <laughs> Yesterday I read for about 3 hours in total. I said that I was gonna read for 2 more hours yesterday in bed, but I only read for an hour. I already did some chores and so I have a lot of time to read, which I'm gonna do now. I moved back inside. And we'll see how long I can read for. Good morning people, today's Sunday so I did not film yesterday and Friday because I fully thought that 24 hours reading would be done in 3 days, <laughs> delusional apparently. Well I just had stuff to do and people to see uh, Friday and Saturday so I read for about 2 hours, maybe 3 total uh, right now. The clock is on 10 hours and 8 minutes, so I still got 14 hours to do. It's 10.30 right now. I do not have many plans today. The house is in order. Um, I just need to do some laundry and walk the dog. And my husband asked me to help him with something in the garden. But apart from that, I'm planning on reading, reading reading i'm still of course on the hero of ages because again delusional i'm on page 316 so in 10 hours i read just over 300 pages i'm still on about 30 pages an hour then <laughs> uh, it's not going well it's not going well but it's okay I'm learning a lot from this experience about my reading habits and how I read. Good morning people, today is Monday and today, yesterday, I did not read for as many hours as I 
would have liked. <laughs> I read for like two hours, which is nothing. I'm starting to think <laughs> that this challenge is way harder than I would have thought. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, all I can tell you is I'm going to try again to read for so many hours today. And hopefully today, no, not hopefully, I will do it today. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> My goal is eight. Well, let's be realistic. I haven't, I haven't read for more than three hours on a single day. So let's say six hours. Six hours today, at least. <laughs> let's try it. The timer is almost at 12 hours now. It's, it's at 11 hours and 53 minutes, something like that. So we're going to try to get it to 18 at least. We're gonna do it. Today is the day we will persevere. <laughs> So let me update you. Um, it's now two o'clock and my timer is now at 13 hours. So I've been reading for an hour today. So the thing is, every time I start reading, it's about, I read for about 10 minutes, which is new to me. I did not know this was a thing that I did, but I read for like 10 minutes and I feel like I've been reading for an hour. And so after 10 minutes, I feel like, okay, it's time for break. I can do some stuff, but because I am timing it, I'm realizing that I only read for like 10 minutes. I think I mentioned this before, but when I read, well, it's just, it's always, not only when I read, but also when I read, um, there's also another stream of consciousness going on in the background. Um, just thoughts, thoughts keep coming. And also usually there's a song playing in my head as well. Uh, I don't know where I heard this, but in the past week, I've heard it twice mentioned. Someone someone asked uh, what music would be best for working music that wouldn't distract but get you to focus on what you're doing and uh, the answer was chopin you should try chopin um, and later in the week someone else mentioned it somewhere else that chopin is the best thing for concentrating so I thought I'd try that and um, I just did and I honestly can focus so much better and of course it was only for half an hour but it was so much easier to read in that half hour than it was and it could also be placebo effect because I believed it would work but either way it worked as I said it's too I think I can get an hour, another hour of reading in before I have to go pick up my husband from work. Yeah, I have to do that at four. So it's like I said, it's two now and I should be able to get a solid hour in, maybe even more. When I get back from the store, I will start reading again. And I think, I hope Chopin will really help me out. Hi, the, um, it's 3.35, 3.40, something like that. <laughs> and I've, the timer's now at 14 hours, which means I've read for two, but I have to leave now. But when I get back, I will read some more. Uh, I try, I will try to get another hour in before dinner. So, <laughs> Let's hope it works. It's almost nine o'clock and uh, I've been reading for exactly 15 hours right now, uh, which means I've been reading for three hours today. And my goal was six, but 
as I said, it's nine, so I can still read at least an hour, which would be still double of what I have been doing. I'm going to try and read for another hour, and in that hour, I'm after an hour, I'm gonna see uh, what page I am on and how many pages I have read in an hour. And because it's already, I've already been reading for three hours, and it's semi late. <laughs> you would think that reading wouldn't be as fast because you know tired and all of that so i think it would be a good test to see if i'm actually quicker Yesterday I read for another hour after I uh, put you down. My husband also went to bed. I was reading in bed and my husband went to bed. So I did not, I, I could not leave the music on clearly because he, he wanted to sleep, you know. And I couldn't put in my AirPods because they were not charged. So I did read for another hour, but um, I think I went straight back to 30 pages for an hour, but that's okay. Um, I'm at 17 hours right now, and it's 10 o'clock. I've got all day. I've got to do some laundry, um, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit outside and read and put on music so that it goes quicker. Hi, it's two o'clock and I just dropped off my husband at an appointment that he had. It will take about an hour or so and instead of driving back home all the way and then having to come back right away, I thought let me find a spot where I can just sit in the shade in my car and read for an hour. So that's what I'm doing. I'm on page 564. I have not been reading for an hour yet today, so uh, this hour, well, might be half an hour, might be 45 minutes, but um, it will come in handy. <laughs> I'm on page 678, so I'm almost done. Um, there's 724 pages in this book, so I think I should be done in about an hour if I read fast. Otherwise, it will be an hour and a half. And after that, 
there will only be about an hour, an hour and a half left. So do we really need to pick up another book? I don't think so. There's going to be a wrap up after I finish this book. So that was it for my 24 hour reading challenge and um, I have learned a lot, of course I have learned a lot um, and I did not technically finish. <laughs> I've read for about 22 to 23 hours and I felt like that was enough um, and also felt like it wasn't necessary to pick up another book for that last hour. So I didn't make it entirely but also I feel like I did make something <laughs> i did accomplish something it was hard as you could see from the video it was hard for me to read that much when i started this i thought i would be done in three days and i clearly wasn't it took me um more than a week i think it was nine or ten days but yeah i did see it through well almost see it through 24 hours because um after about 22 to 23 hours is when I finished the book that I was reading and I felt like it, it's not necessary to pick up another book for another hour and only get to 30 pages or something. But it did teach me a lot of things about my reading habits and my reading speed. These are things that I can take with me to the next challenge and things that can help me read more in the future so that was one of the goals of this challenge to read more i can take this experience with me to read more in the future so what have i learned i am a very slow reader i read about 30 pages an hour and that is something i can definitely approve on but something i did also learn about myself is that if i put on classical music and i feel like a lot of people can really do something with this tip when i put on classical music I can read faster and it's probably f maybe lo-fi will help uh, read faster and also <laughs> I was realizing that for example if I go and read The Lord of the Rings I can just put on um, the soundtrack to The Lord of the Rings and have a really immersive uh, reading experience so I'm definitely going to do that sometime and I'm definitely going to um, put on more music when I read so that's one thing i also learned that i don't when i go and read i don't read for a long time i read about 10 minutes when i'm reading for 10 minutes i feel like i've been reading for a long time but i haven't that's something i learned and i don't know what to do with that information but uh, i probably could do something with that information What I also learned, um, especially in the beginning, the first few days of this challenge, is that I have a lot of things to do during the day. And <laughs> of course, everyone has a lot of things to do during the day. And uh, because of that, I also try to read during the day. And because of that, uh, I don't have much time to read. I realized that if, if I have all day, to just do some chores around the house and read, 
I still don't have much time because the chores around the house take a lot of time as well. So I'm definitely going to take that with me and the next challenge will tackle that problem. So stay tuned on my channel to see that. Subscribe! So at the end of the 24 hours I read one book, which is The Hero of Ages, which was the last book in the... Well, it's not the last book in the trilogy. I said that before, that it was the last book, in the, but it's not. It's uh, the third book in the Mistborn trilogy. Well, while it's the last book in this storyline, I believe that there is an, another trilogy that is set about 200 years after the events of this trilogy. And it's, it's still the Mistborn series, but it's a separate trilogy. So I'm really excited for that. I was really excited for this book and I thoroughly enjoyed this book, even though <laughs> I couldn't finish it as quickly as I thought I would have. I don't want to give any spoilers, so I can't really talk about what happens in this book because if I do, I would spoil the first two books in the trilogy, right? But of course I can talk a little bit about the bigger themes in this book. Um, this book talks a lot about religion and faith. It talks a lot about friendship and trusting and it, and um, it also goes into the politics and the, and the planning of scheming and the planning of war and I really really thoroughly enjoyed this book. I will upload a what I read over the summer video, I don't know exactly when, I think in a week or two. and. I will go deeper into this book and the other two books of the trilogy. If you want to hear more about this book, keep an eye out for that video, maybe subscribe. And that's actually what I have to talk about because that's the only book I read. So I like the challenge. I learned a lot. I will probably do another 24 hour reading challenge again, but I think the next time that I do it, I want to do actually 24 hours straight instead of separating it through a few days. In the beginning I thought I, that wouldn't work for me, but I think maybe uh, it would be better actually. So I want to try that again, but <laughs> not right now, maybe in a few weeks, maybe in a month, something like that. But I will be doing a 24 hour reading challenge again, I know that already. And that's about it guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for me, especially about how I can improve my reading, my reading speed, my reading habits, how I can do that, please leave a comment below. And also, please tell me how I can improve my videos because it's, this is my first video and I'm not really sure what I'm doing and uh, if it's even enjoyable or... So please, any suggest suggestions about the video and about future videos, please leave those in the comments down below as well and that's it for me thank you again for watching and i'll see you in another video bye